Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create HSS bracing connection in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay. Now, before going to explain you, take a new project, go to menu, click on new, click on create. Double click on this 3D view and close it here and maximize this window. Okay, now before we're going to place the columns, now we're going to create views. Grid. So click on grid, right click on mouse, create views and along grid lines. Click on create and OK and close it. Okay, now we're going to place the column set here. So go to steel and select this column and click on here to place the column at here and click on here to place the column at here. Okay, currently I'm using US environment. So uh, the processor remains same just uh, follow the processor whatever you want to use the environment you can use it okay uh, go to the elevation view so click on view and click on this view list for example this these two columns are at elevation 2 so click on this elevation 2 and click on here and close here okay take uh, reference points to create the bracing uh, in between the two columns so click on this edit and click on here and tick at any position point and zoom it and place it here at gradient section point right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to move this point so drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear click on clear and uh, here you can see in the our coordinates uh, z direction we need to move uh, for example take let's take one feet so enter here one feet then click on move ok right click on mouse interrupt similar like that we are going to place one more point at here so click on here and take at any position and place it here right click on mouse interrupt and drag and select this point right click on mouse move special linear click on clear at this time we need to move in the downward direction so enter here in the z direction minus one feet then click on move ok right click on mouse interrupt okay now we have the reference points at here and at this location so now we're going to place the brace at uh, in between the two points so click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point at here and pick the second position at here right click on mouse interrupt you can see currently we have the i profile at here this is the uh, w profile so double click on this profile now we're going to change this profile so click on here let's take in the list uh, you can see now we have the uh, uh, horizontal HSS brace selected profile we have the HSS uh, 4 by 4 by 1 by 4 inch if you want to change this profile then click on here profile catalog and in the list you can take as per your design uh, whichever you want to take this profile you can uh, pick from here and then click on apply ok ok now click on modify and close it now we have the HSS bridge profile here you can check in the 3d view also click on this window and select this 3d view and you can see this is the HSS profile you can use the control R rotation shortcut for control R and place it here and you can rotate like this okay this is the HSS profile and this is the column now we're going to um, place the connection between the column to HSS brace so go to the application components by using the shortcut control F otherwise you can also click on here okay in the list you can take 144 connection you can see now we have the brace middle tube and plate 144 connection HSS brace connection this one this is one of the example of the type 1 okay the remaining types also we're going to uh, uh, make the video on other tutorials so select this uh, this brace connection and close it here and pick the main part as a column and pick the secondary part as a hss brace and uh, our selection has been completed so press the scroll middle button to place the connection okay right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse to review okay this is the default connection we have at this location like this okay now we're going to adjust and uh, now we're going to see the options to edit this connection as per our information okay this is only the these values are the tutorial purpose this is not uh, exact value of the design okay just double click on this connection okay 
you can see now we're going to see the options which options are required to uh, adjust this connection as per the information so just come here you can maintain this uh, distance between the plate to this flange edge uh, by using this option you can see this option okay let's take off each then click on modify you can see now the edge of this plate to this flange should be off inch okay later we're going to see the uh, distance between these edges at here and here let's take off inch so enter here one by two off inch and here also off inch and here also we need to enter off inch okay then click on modify you can see now the distance here from the this plate to this plate it should be half inch okay now we're going to see this uh, edge distance and pitch and gauge values so click on here bolt option uh, for example we're going to take 3 by 4 inch and tall lines 1 by 16 come here okay go to the elevation view to get the clear view at here okay now we're going to maintain these distances so for example enter here let's take two inches to make the differentiate here then click on modify you can see now the bolt to edge distance should be two inches and the distance between the two bolts should be three inches okay for example we're going to take the edge distance here one out of inch so enter here 1.5 1.5 then click on modify you can see now the edge distance should be one out of inch and the distance between two bolts should be three inches similar like that you can enter in the in this direction also for example here let's take 1.5 inch and 1.5 inch and two bolts and enter here the distance between the two bolts let's take three inches then click on modify by default we have the value same values here one out of one out of if you want to change these values enter here let's take two inches uh, to make the differentiate you can see now the distances should be two inches in the edge distances okay let's take one out of inch here then click on modify yeah that's it okay now uh, you can maintain the distance between this plate to this uh, this uh, hsl space distance so go to the picture tab and uh, you can maintain here you can see this plate to uh, this hss base distance here let's take off inch then click on modify you can see now the this distance should be off inch from this plate gusset plate to this hss brace member like that you can maintain from here okay that's it now you can check these values from here for example use the shortcut f on your keyboard f key and place the first first point at here and second point and place it here you can see we have the one and a half inch and uh, from bolt to bolt and place it here three inches and from here to edge distance uh, you should activate this option to get the uh, geometry point at here and place it here one and a half inch three inches and one and a half inch right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse data view to arrange these dimensions okay similarly like that we are going to measure in the lengthwise direction so uh, enter the uh, shortcut f on your keyboard and place the first point and second point and place it here one and a half inch three inches and one and a half inch you can see in the bolt options we have entered here one and a half inch one and a half inch and three inches and now we're going to check the distance between hss brace to first point at here it should be half inch according to this value you can see this half inch value if you increase this value this uh, distance between these two parts will be increases okay right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse view. yeah that's it now we're going to enter the thickness of this uh, plates for example we're going to take the uh, half inch plate so go to the parameters parts tab and enter here half inch and enter here the gusset plate also half inch connection plate indicates this plate and gusset plate indicates this plate then click on modify select this plate and then click on modify you can see now this plate thickness should be half inches like that you can uh, control the thickness of this plate from these two options okay 
you can see at the bottom HSS brace we have opened a face in the bottom of this HSS brace member so uh, it it tends to the corrosion inside of this uh, brace so uh, to close this uh, HSS brace opened face you can use this option cap here uh, let's take uh, one by four inch thick cap we are going to enter to cover this face so enter click on modify to uh, create the cap at here like this okay that's it then if you want to change this length and width of this plate cap you can enter here the width and length of this cap here by default this uh, length and width more than enough for the welding space and everything okay that's it you know, once completed then click on modify apply apply okay click on space right click on most of you uh, you can uh, use this same connection at here at this connection also go to the application components by using the shortcut control f and select this one uh, select this column and select this hss member and press the scroll middle button by default we have entered the previous values uh, coming with this previous value this connection also like this no need to enter in this connection you can see now we have the same values with this connection okay similar like that you can use with the different values as per your design information uh, with the same processor okay that's it about hss brace connection type 1 okay in our next video we will see the uh, second type of hss brace connection in the next video okay if you like this video please like it and share it for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gunny sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find so many tech structure related videos i hope these videos may be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe thank you